Hiya Blues, it's Alex outside the Etihad City's weekend score, City 2, Swansea 1. Did fantastically well to come back and get ourselves three points. And as ever from a Pep Guardiola game, there was a lot to be learned. So here are the five things we learned. The first and perhaps the most obvious and something we've been learning all week is that Gabriel Jesus is sublimely slotted perfectly into English football. And I think he's going to be here to stay for a very, very long time. So bright, so much hope for the future, so passionate, so keen and so in form. Sergio Aguero has got competition on his hands. And number two, the second thing we learned today is all about Sergio Aguero isn't finished. He's got competition, as I said, in point number one. But all the papers talking about him off to Real Madrid, to Chelsea, to Atletico, back to Argentina, whatever. He showed today that he's still got a role in Pep Guardiola's system, warming up down the touchline all afternoon. It looked like he wanted to get involved. He wanted to get on the pitch. And when he did, all right, he only played 15 minutes. But he looks bright, he looks sharp, he looks passionate. And that's what you want to see. You want to see him fighting for his place, not giving up, not retiring off to Argentina or whatever he needs to do. Sergio Aguero is going to fight for his place and he's here to stay. Number three, Willy Caballero in goal. It turns out as a reserve goalkeeper, he isn't that bad at all. Two clean sheets this week and a pretty confident performance today, including a top draw save off a free kick. You've got to be asking to yourself, will Willy Caballero be our first choice goalkeeper for the end of the season? Claudio Bravo's record speaks for itself. And whilst I've offended him so much on this channel, you've got to say you've got to play your informed players. And Willy Caballero is just that. And he is making a, a real argument for himself to be our number one keeper, at least until next year. And number four, we've got to talk about complacency. Yes, we did get ourselves out of jail today. We did get ourselves the three points, and that is right. But there was a good 30, 40 minute period in that second half, wandering around, playing like we're in the park, forgetting that we are only one and up. And Swansea have come back against other teams this season as well and show that they weren't pussycats. They weren't going to roll over for us. They were here to play. And we've got to get used to this. We've so many times this season have we given results away. Everton, Middlesbrough, and it was very nearly the same today. So yes, we got out of jail, but we have to stamp out this complacency. We have to motivate ourselves ourselves better and maybe that's because we're missing players like Vincent Company who didn't start today a Vincent Company is a captain gels the team together who jigs the team up claps his arm together and makes sure we grind results out and without him we're not doing it and keeping number four in mind, number five, it has to be Manchester City fight till the end. Why we've lost our mojo at earlier points this season. Today, we did have that fight to the end mentality. And as soon as Swansea equalised, there was that aggression. There was that enthusiasm to, to get the three points. We looked hungry. We looked like we had desire. And you know what? That's what won us the three points today. It wasn't the fact that we've got better players than Swansea. It wasn't that we were tactically better. It was that we had a little bit more desire when it mattered most right at the end. And perhaps Gabriel Jesus is that impetus to win his points again. Who knows what it is? But fight to the end. It was a very Manchester City three points. Guys, these are the five things that I've learned. Now it is time for yours. Let me know what I've missed out in the comments. And three points, that's got to be worth a like. It's got to be worth a thumbs up. I'm Alex. This is Blooming Rising TV. And I'll see you next time.